Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. On today's video, you guys have been requesting a custom for way too long. I'll be customing this Nike Air Force One. This is the, I don't, it's the lighter version. It's not the OG version. It's the one that literally, it's light as hell. Like you just throw it and do whatever. On this video, I'm gonna be teaming up with Chase Shields. You gotta go check him out on Instagram. I'll plug his Instagram right here. And all his crazy work. So this is all the crazy work that he has done prior done really amazing things so i decided to team up with him to work on this as a blank canvas and also the black version with the suede swoosh as you guys can see if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to go ham on that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button which is just below this table right where i'm pointing and hit that bell button notifies you every single time we release brand new videos and guess what guys we release videos every single freaking day so let's start this video. The design of the shoe is here. I'm gonna show you a little template that we've designed for it. I'm gonna be using the LV pattern. As you guys saw on the Japanese uh, videos, the vlogs, I bought a massive uh, duffel bag. It's a 65 uh, Depel, whatever, LV bag. I actually have no use for it anymore because one, I fucked up and I thought it was gonna be a carry-on luggage but it's not, it's too big and I don't want them to throw it underneath the plane and I don't use it enough. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna cut it up, make a shoe, give it a chase and let him do his magic. First thing we're gonna do, remove the swoosh, remove the back heel tab here, take the tongue off and replace it with all the LV pattern. Let me show you on a shoe that we were working on earlier. Ready? One, two. You guys can see the swoosh is still on this side, but it has been removed here. So no swoosh here. No tongue, the tongue has been taken out as well. The inner lining of the shoe and the back heel tab. The amazing thing about, about this back heel tab, it's actually just glued on and it's like, it's weird, like, look, stuck. Oh. And the inside of the shoe looks like a baseball, which is kind of strange. Bam, this is the LV bag that I'm going to cut up. Already cut up. Look how much fabric I have to use. There's something else special I'm going to be using with this bag, so you guys need to stay tuned for that. These are the side panels of the bag. Perfect, so this is, it's gonna be like this, and he has given me some patterns in this bag already. Right here is the tongue, it's gonna to replace. Back heel tab that was cut off the shoe. The front bit of the tongue with the sizing tag, as you guys can see, I'll be changing the lining of it. The back heel tab, this is the swoosh. This is the tongue area that I'm gonna be changing into the LV pattern as well. You guys can see, there you go, a clear sample of the swoosh. Oh, so I can place it just where I want to and have the exact patterns that I want to make it look good. This is the front of the tongue and it's going to be the LV pattern as well. It's changed the lining inside of the shoe. So the padding of the inside of the shoe gave me some options. These are the options that I get to choose for the lining of the inside of the shoe. I'm super excited. I'm gonna leave it to him to be honest because I, I would have no idea what would be comfortable. I still want to wear the shoe every single day, which is gonna be crazy. I'm gonna have a black, oh black, white colorway and a black colorway to wear. So let's take it over to Chase and some B-roll. I hope you guys enjoy it. There's gonna be multiple parts of this video. So this is gonna be part one. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and let's roll. Once you get the pattern, it's uh, it's a lot easier. Um, it's just about just taking the existing pieces away and then just replacing them. Um, but the first time you do it, you've got to make a pattern for every piece that you um, deconstruct. Is there like a process? So like, just say for example, do you take out the swoosh first? Do you take out? Uh, it's usually depending on how I feel. Yeah, it depends how I'm going with um, the scalpel as well. I uh, usually try and have a fresh new blade that's just gonna 
rip all the threads out really easily. So once it once it gets going, it's, it just all comes away. So yeah, exactly, just like that. <laughs> but the only thing there, you just got to be really careful that you don't cut into the upper because sometimes you can get ahead of yourself. I think it's really easy, easy. And then yeah, if I was doing it like a whole pair, I'd just use the same um, blade because uh, the last thing I'm gonna do is force it. Yep. It's just about really touching it. This is clearly not something that you can just pick up overnight. No, you just w w once you work out how a shoe is constructed, it's um, you're just playing around. Uh, the lining's probably the biggest um, time, but uh, like uh, just a simple swoosh changes. Um, once you have the pattern, it's really simple. So do you have a section that you have to bleed, like just in case, or do you, you just cut your size and and hope you don't fuck up? Ed. Oh, I'm past that now, so... <laughs> it makes sense. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of a bit of... Like... Yeah. Oh, this is serious. I really thought you would, like, you would use a ruler of some sort and, like, like, objects. Ah. Uh, That's a sturdy hand. It's... <laughs> it's not even a joke. This is amazing. <laughs>